What's up? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Earl Shatter, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing a recent change that happened with the most recent update. By the time you're watching this video, it will have been yesterday, and the rest of the content is coming out today. This update did something to the camos for even the Master Craft weapons, but also the Diamond camo and, and the Dark Matter camo as well. What this in particularly changed was how you unlock the maximum level for each of these camos. And that's what we're going to be discussing today. We're going to be, you know, seeing what actually changed. Discuss a little bit about what happened with the Mastercraft and Reactive camos as well. I will say, getting maximum Dark Matter and maximum Diamond Rainbow is going to be significantly easier for everyone now. And I think you're going to have a pretty good chance of at least getting it once in your Call of Duty Black Ops 4 career. If you guys were doubting yourselves at any time, you no longer will have to do certain things and it'll make things a lot better. Before we get into the rest of the video, if at any point you guys do enjoy the content, make sure you guys go down below and smash that like button. We have a goal of 50 likes on today's video and I think we can smash that goal out of the park with all of your guys' support. If you guys are new and want to find your way back, make sure you guys do subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any future content. And the newest update for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 did a series of changes to the camos like we just said before, as well as, as adding content to all three areas of Call of Duty Black Ops 4, including Blackout and Zombies and then a multiplayer of course as well. Now, what's in particularly incredible about some of these changes is that we're going to be receiving some new maps for those of us that have the Black Ops Pass. We're also getting three new weapons, which is fairly exciting. And of course, some new variants for different weapons. And we're going to be getting more Mastercraft and Reactive camos. I think there's also going to be some additional weapon camos. Hopefully, we'll see some animated and reactive camos available to all the weapons. But we're going to have to wait until, you know, later after this video comes out, really find out what happens. So, before... Before this update was released, when you had the diamond camo or the dark matter camo on, for every five kills or every bloodthirsty medal that you earned without dying, your camo would change to a new, basically, form. And then, of course, you would end up with a final form for diamond camo that would be the rainbow diamond. Then for dark matter, that goes back to that old school dark matter camo that we were familiar with from Black Ops 3. And you had to go on a nuclear streak, basically, or I think it was even a 35 streak for the rainbow camo. I'm not ex exactly positive. But if you died any time before that, it would not become, you know, anything at all. You would lose the entire streak. Kind of made it really hard for people to grind for. Particularly, there was a lot of people out there that probably would never have seen this on their their own weapon. and Or you would only probably see it on one weapon or once or twice here and there. Some people were able to obviously grind them out and get them continuously. There is even a calling card under the Dark Ops category that you can earn for unlocking maximum dark matter with every primary weapon. So this in particular challenge seemed quite hard before this update came out and it's not going to be nearly as difficult whatsoever to get. But I think it'll give a lot more people the opportunity to experience these camos and it's probably Treyarch's main purpose for making the change that they did. With this update, now anybody putting on the Diamond or Dark Matter camo will no longer have to worry about not being able to unlock maximum as long as they're able to earn 30 kills total in a single match. Yeah, that's right, 30 kills. If you can get 30 kills in a match, or even any of those ranges that you once needed before, without dying, you no longer have to worry about it. You can die. You can get 5 kills and die. You can get any amount of kills and die. It no longer matters, as long as you get up to 30 kills, you'll be able to earn that maximum camo. Whether it be the rainbow diamond camo, or that maximum old school looking dark matter camo from Black Ops 3. Anyone will have the opportunity to earn this, as long as they're able to conjure up those 30 kills. So obviously instead of needing a bloodthirsty for each transformation, now you just need simply 5 kills. Deaths don't matter, none of that stuff matters. I think this big change is made by Treyarch in order to allow most of the people to experience, or at least more people than there was, be able to experience the maximum camos. Obviously they want to have cool camos and reactive stuff going on in the game, lots of animation. They want to keep people interested. One of the main ways they can do that is allow something as simple as Diamond and Dark Matter, which is a camo that people grind for. 
to be accessible in some simple fashion as far as the transformations go and give more people that opportunity to earn those maximum levels. Let me know down in the comment section below what your guys' feelings are on this change. Do you guys think it was good? Do you guys think it was better off, you know, earning them per kill streak and having the nuclear be that sort of, you know, accomplishment? Just let me know down and below what you guys think. Personally, this change doesn't bother me too much. I did think it was pretty cool, however, that you did get rewarded, you know, per five kills with each diamond and dark matter, and that you had to go on an actual nuclear streak to get the maximum level. It was a really cool way of having, you know, people grind nuclears with every gun. Like we said before, they did have that gemmed out calling card that you get under the Dark Ops challenges for earning the maximum dark matter with each primary weapon. That would have been significantly difficult without this update. It's still going to be, you know, a bit of a challenge for some people. Honestly, getting a, you know, 30 kills in a sol single game with each weapon, probably not going to be all that challenging now. But at least a lot more people will be able to grind for it. And then maybe, you know, we'll see something change in the future for those of us that go for these higher streaks. Another plus is obviously when people would see you in the kill cam, based on the color of your weapon, they knew that you were on some sort of streak, but would be more likely to hunt you down. Now that everybody has the same accessibility to these camos and the animation changes just by getting simple kills, it's going to be a lot less likely, I think, in my opinion, that you'll die to a nuclear to somebody hunting you down by seeing the kill cam and knowing that you're on some sort of streak based on the color of your gun. There is a huge plus to this, and I want people to, you know, take a step back and realize that as well. That'll probably be pretty helpful when those of us that, you know, get hunted down on our streaks or feel like just everybody in the lobby is against us. I did notice when I was looking at the reactive camo for the GKS Damascus that it did say that those camos did reset upon death. So I'm not sure if those were just something that is special to that that gun or if reactive camos are still going to be, you know, based upon going on bloodthirsties and trying to get the max one. We'll take a nuclear. No confirmation, but that is still a possibility. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy yourselves at any time, make sure you guys go down below and smash that like button. Like I said before, we do have a goal of 50 likes on today's content. Also, if you want to find your way back to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. I appreciate you guys all tuning in today, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.